it's Laura and I'm really happy to be back for this new video which is going to be a plan with me my August months because we are already in August 2021 so it's going so so fast and I'm really happy to be back for this video where I'm going to plan my month with you with languages and I'm also going to show you some things I've just bought because I'm coming back from Paris so I've spent four days in Paris I think because I got the chance to sing in Paris in La Machine du Moulin Rouge so which is just next to the very famous Moulin Rouge so I felt so grateful to have the chance to sing there so I got the chance through a contest so for those who don't know I love singing and I will put just one extract if you want to see uh, what it looks like Le rose, le vert, le jaune, toutes ces couleurs te découvrent Le rouge, le jaune, le noir alors que tombe à mon tour Le gris, le blanc, le brun pour que ces couleurs étouffent Alors que la soirée se termine dans un dernier souffle Tes rires font écho aux blagues qui résonnent Mais tes sourires réchauffent cette scène monotone Ces dialogues qu'on connaît tous par cœur Qu'on répète à tu tête sur ces films de couleurs Tes rires font écho So I got a chance to sing some songs I've written so in English and in French and I feel so grateful that I got this chance so it was very incredible and through my little journey in Paris I've enjoyed to buy some things uh, in shops we don't have or barely don't have in uh, Switzerland so I'm so happy that I got the chance to go to the Muji store so I'm not sponsored at all by them but I just wanted to share some things I bought so just before we start don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel just below and to leave a thumbs up if you liked and enjoyed this video I would be so thankful and it will help me also to see what kind of videos you enjoy or not so the very first thing I bought in the Muji is for this uh, notebook, so I've opened them a little bit and you have five in different colors. So I've decided that I'm going to use them one uh, per language, so I don't know which language is going to go in which and which languages I will put in them because I don't know if I'm going to use them for Spanish and Italian, maybe for other languages, I don't know for the moment. But I'm really happy with the set of notebooks and they were very cheaper, like very cheaper than the notebook we can find in Switzerland, so very happy with uh, this purchase. The second one is just a notebook like this, <laughs> so it's uh, just a white paper inside. I don't know what I'm going to write inside for the moment, but I think it was pretty good. And I also, find, um, I also found my planner for this year, so as I'm beginning university uh, in September, I was needing uh, to, to find an agenda, so I uh, about this one because you have your entire week in just one page and you can take some notes just on the side so I think it's pretty good so I bought it in the Muji's too so I don't think they have I don't know if they have this kind in like dark grey because they have some but it was bigger and that one is kind of a good um, good size for me so I've chosen this one and just to and just to finish my little Muji's haul as I'm going to study mathematics, I've bought those little uh, manacle pencil uh, because I found them kind of good and with some rubbers. So I've also bought this little ruler, which is going to be very useful. This too, if I'm using like normal pencils and also this little post because I found them so cute. So <laughs> it was my little old, but it was just to show you like more uh, the notebook and my planner I'm gonna use. To plan August, I don't know if I'm going to use my new uh, agenda or my old one. So my old one is very old now. There is a very big like um, fleck on it, um, but it's kind of still useful. So maybe I'm just going to use it by the end until the end. So for my August months, I still don't know. But it's uh, maybe the one I'm gonna use for this video. You also have all your week on one paper and here to make some, to take some notes, so I find it so useful. And to end with, uh, in Paris I went to some uh, Chinese bookshop, so I found this one which is very very good I think, because you have um, the stories so here in Chinese, you have the opinion and the meaning uh, which could be difficult. And in case you don't want to see the opinion because, you know, 
if you're trying to practice maybe you don't want your eyes to be just stuck on pinyin uh, to see um, how you can pronounce it you have just a blue grid like this and you can put it against the pinyin so you won't see the pinyin so i'm very i'm looking forward to begin this book so it's the credit chinese reader 500 words um, so it's in english and chinese so they are not french and chinese books or almost none so i bought this one and i think it it will go if it's in english so the very first thing i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna use this grid so where i have my all august months in one side so i have all days i'm not going to write so much on it i think but i'm just going to put in highlight the days when i'm uh, on vacation uh the days when i'm not here and the days when i know that i'm working which could be also uh, kind of important to put in my planner because the days we are working or we'll have less time for languages so i will try to find kind of a color code which will help me uh to plan these parts so i'm just gonna use uh, that kind of um highlighters like this or the gray one that i really really like i don't know why but i think that the gray color just goes so well on uh, paper i really liked it so i'm going to use the orange highlighter just to put the time when i'm on vacation so i'm going just to write vacation on the side and i'm going to highlight days when i know i will leave And I know that uh, probably next week I'm going to go um, to Italy. So not really from the August 20th, but the 15th, then we come back on the 18th or 19th. So obviously I'll probably have a vision to start my August 20th, so it's And then I'm going to put in uh, grey, uh, just in grey the days where I know I will be working. And I've just written at what time I'm working and until which time I will be finishing. So just my timetable to have kind of an overview. And we are already the Monday the 2nd of August. So I have one of these to plan and to fix. So I'm going just to take this notebook, uh, which is pretty well too. Uh, I will put the reference if you, you're interested. And I'm going to write on my August months what I want to do and what I want to achieve first of all. So I'm not very good at making title, but I think this one will go. And I'm just going to plan my languages plan for this month, not other things. So first of all, I'm going to plan for Chinese what I want to do. So my Chinese is going pretty well, but this last week I didn't have uh, I didn't have enough time to work and to practice as much as I wanted to. Uh, so this month I will go back to Chinese and really I hope that I will be practicing more. So I'm just going to write kind of the goals I have for Chinese for this month. And I hope that I will stick to them and that my Chinese will progress uh, this month. So the first goal I've written is to read one story each two weeks. So I don't know if I will stick to this plan because the story I kind of pretty long, but I'm hoping that I will be able to read one story in this book I've just shown you before, uh, each week or each two week. For Chinese, I've written to progress my vocabulary skills, but also to learn um, HSK free words. So I know that I already know a few of them, but I just want to, to practice more and to progress and that I will know all of the HSK uh, list words. So it's the old HSK list, I mean, it was HSK one, new HSK program list. So for Italian, I've written to review uh, before going to Italy and to progress there. So I will try to speak um, the most in Italian as I can uh, when I will be in Italy so I can practice my Italian. So for Spanish I've written to be on a conversation level and to increase my vocabulary because I think it's very important and I really want to because I didn't got enough time. Um, but the fact is that as I'm uh, going to travel in a Spanish-speaking country, I want my level to be 
uh, better before I'm going there. So it's what I will try to do with my Spanish. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to focus on myself on those three languages and maybe on other things, but I'm not going to put them in this uh, video because I'm not very sure so I don't want to, to speak about things I'm not very sure I will do and so here you have my August plan so what I want to do also in August is that I want to I really love to find time to do everything I want so I will try to do and to do sports more so probably at least three a week so I'm already at there I think but just to keep this uh, level I want also to prepare my uh, my go to school in university because I think that I have some maths to do to review before going there. And as I'm working uh, for a Chinese method with someone else, I just want also to spend more time and to be more efficient and more uh, kind of focus on this uh, method because I really need to progress in it and I really need to do more. So I'm looking forward for this month and what I want to do for this month is to post more on Instagram because I will try to take you with me through these months of learning and uh, through what I achieved. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So it was not a very, very long video to be uh, to be honest and clear because it was kind of hard. I didn't want to go week by week or maybe I will do more um, precise week shots when I will do them uh, to put on my Instagram so you can follow me there. I will just put the link here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you, see you back in the next video. Bye bye.